bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappeared. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. But you're serious, aren't you? What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you, and listen to everything he says. it will let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. Right. Where can I get workers' clothing? Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. Hey, Sam. I've straightened things out with Brogar. You can go back to hunting. Helpful son, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. But then one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note. Sometimes it's better to take sides than end up in the middle. The temple guard wouldn't let me in. Do you think he'd invite you in for a beer? He's a guard, remember? you would have to have something for the Don. A gift, information, something valuable. What sort of gifts? Oscar the Smith will tell you. He's helped a lot of people impress the Don. Oscar's good with gold. And as I say, the Don rather likes unusual things that glitter. I heard something about pieces of a sword. A sword decorated with gold. Oscar's looking for pieces just like that. I also know that Brogar's got one. Which you might say is something of an obstacle. I bet Oscar's tried to get it. Which means it won't be easy or cheap for you to persuade Brogar to part with it. True. But I'm sure this sword will get me in to see the Don. If it glitters, it will catch his eye. Then getting the sword could get me in. You'll need all the pieces. Then you'd need Oscar to work his magic, if that's even possible. Ha! <laughs> and then you'll need Oscar to be willing to give the sword back to you. It's not an easy thing to do. None of- I wonder where the pieces are. If they're all decorated with gold, people won't just give them away. Well, you know, Brogar has one. You might like to check out the workers. They're in the middle of things. They see what gets dug up. And they're likely to keep some things quiet. When a man has nothing, a little is a lot. Who knows about Brogar and wouldn't mind talking to me? Talk to Lewis, one of my hunters. He knows a few things, more than you'd think. Start with him, see what he says. How does Rachel feel about him? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that even though the Don's behind her. Brogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel. But it might be something you can hold against Brogar. You could use it to stop Brogar. If you challenged him to combat and won, that would embarrass him in front of everyone. But it wouldn't be easy. That's an understatement. Well, you started on this path. Every man chooses his destination. Where are you going? Whatever happens, I'll need to train. A man needs skills. And with the path you've chosen, you'll need more skills than most. There is no way I can beat Brogar with this useless equipment. If you're after a better blade, Oscar the Smith will sell you one. If that fails, you'll need another line of attack. Magic. Try talking to Robart, the swamp farmer. He knows about magic, and as he's outside the camp, people won't hear you buying stuff. Can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's at a skinful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. But I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. I met a hunter called Yan. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. Not right, no. Leave me be. Craig has a piece of the sword blade the Don wants. So he says. But that bastard won't part with it cheap if he has got it. You knew he had a piece of the blade. <laughs> Nothing happens in this camp without someone mouthing about it. But you want me to pay for it? Either that, or you just take it from him. 
and taking it from him is that simple. Give him a serious pounding. The money's on the ground to take it. Sounds pretty fucking simple to me. And no one's going to be upset by that? Well, it's not going to upset me. And he's already an ugly enough bastard. Who's going to know? I want to trade some iron ore for some sword blanks. Piece of piss. Tell me what you want. How much iron ore do you want? Say, eight lumps. If you just want a basic one-handed sword. Ten for a bastard, twelve for a two-handed. The fighters are holding show fights in the arena. Well, they need something to work out their aggression. Leave them to knock each other's brains out. It stops them bothering up. Craig is running a betting ring. He knows Esteban doesn't like that kind of thing. It just ends up with the men arguing. This could be the spark that sets everything off. Go and tell Craig I said to stop it if he knows what's good for him. Brogar is forcing Sam to work for him instead of hunting. He's sawing wood for Brogar's fire. That's why you've not been getting the meat you need. Damn Brogar! I thought he was trying to undermine Esteban. He'd be nothing without the Don, and now I need that meat. What do you want to do about it? Me? You do what you can. There'll be a full-on rebellion if stomachs go empty. If you want to help out, get me meat and get Sam back out hunting. Don't just stand around. Be off with you. Will you sell me your piece of the sword? It'd have to be for, uh... Ooh, no less than 100 gold. I'll give it some thought. That's the deal. I told Rachel about your bet. Are you out of your mind? What? I didn't know it was such a big deal. Big deal? The Don has forbidden gambling, especially for gold. But I thought everyone... You didn't think at all. You better go back to Rachel and straighten this out. Go on, talk to Rachel. Get this sorted. Anything new to tell me? Don't worry about Craig. He won't be taking any more bets. Well, I hope not. He's a stubborn man. This is for you. A small payoff for your help. What did she say? I calmed her down. You can keep running your books. <sighs> we were lucky. You were lucky. Next time, talk to me before blabbing. In fact, make sure there isn't a next time. Right? Will you sell me your piece of the sword? That's a deal. What, really? Fine. Well, here it is. Now, no one can see us here. So let's have ourselves a little chat. What about? I've met people like you. Troublemaker. Can we talk about this? I don't want to talk. I want you gone. Permanently. Every scummy weasel that turns up here costs me a share of my gold. Right. So we're not here for the temple. You're getting the picture. It's just you and me. And you're gonna give me your gold. Let's get this over. Draw your weapon. See? I knew you were tr- Going to get you in trouble. 